right, I am Hurricane Betsy Barnes here celebrating the birthday season of the fabulous, wonderful, and oh so brilliant Dr. K. Solar. Hey, my head is so big it won't fit in this hat that you've got anymore after that. <laughs> it's it's after a crown. That introduction. I'm like just saying. So I had to switch hats, go for the gold one that you got me here, Betsy. Yes. But I'm so excited that we have Jacob Zumo joining us, who has been with us before, but you have so much going on the month Since of February. Since last time he was here, he's oh expanded my. so much. But but, he has. but you have so many events going on at your new space. Yeah. So uh, Jacob is an amazing artist. Um, and uh, tell folks where your space is. It's the uh, gallery, yeah. not a, just a space. Right. right? Off of I-12, um, kind of by Stream of Baptist Church in Costco. Um, overlooking the interstate right there off of Interline. Mm -hmm. And it so. has the J Zumo on the right, side of the building, the building, so you can like find it. Uh, but tell us about some of the events. You've got something coming up um, this weekend on February 4th. Right. This Friday, we're going to have a collaboration with a guy who does vintage clothing. And then my younger cousin, who I mentor, he's going to do some artwork. And basically, what we're doing is we're taking a theme. Um, this one is called Heaven and Hell. So, you know, I do sacred art. Right. So, we're kind of pushing the sacred um, onto the canvas, onto the clothing, and it'll kind of um, revolve around that theme of heaven and hell. And, and uh, yeah, you have to come see. So I think we we have the event flyer up. Uh, tell us uh, what time is the event, and do Six people and just show up? Right. Six and nine people show up, free event. Um, we'll have some wine, some... Uh, some food and uh, some views. So and and you have a piece of clothing here. Is yes. this something that's going to be yes. available? So on basically, that night? Uh, we're collaborating with a guy um, who's called Remember That's Vintage, um, and it's I think his theme is it's never too late. So he'll, he'll go find uh, clothes around Louisiana, and then we'll take the theme and kind of go with it. So it's like kind of a he says never too late. So he'll take old clothes and like kind of bring them back to the Repurpose forefront. Repurpose them. Yeah, so kind of like them. That's the resurrection perfect. side of the sacred art that will kind of refurb some clothes back to life. So. I think you're right in the beginning of this new trend. I think it's been happening a little bit, but I think more and more people are really latching on right. I think and appreciating arts, it. Yeah, I think arts uh, and fashion are kind of molding right now where like the more rare something is and the more one of one it is, you know, you won't see someone else wearing mm -hmm. it. So when you can kind of cling that to the culture here, um, the sacred that I do, um, and the young folks, I think that's what what's up next. So. And so it's in the evening or the daytime? Six, six to, to nine, nine p.m. Six to nine p.m. So no, no one is going to be getting up at 6 a.m., Betsy. Now, I mean, well, you might. Well, but. you know, I, I <laughs> zoned out for a second there. <laughs> but, but I really do think that this is great. And so um, are you going to have more than one vintage clothing or just this one particular one? Yes. Yeah, so we'll have um, – it's anything from T-shirts to jackets to jeans – and we'll tier things. I'll, I'll paint on some, which will be a little high dollar, a little more rare, and then we'll screen print on a lot of stuff. And then we'll be having reproduction prints of, of the four paintings that we collaborated on. And so it's, it's all on the same theme, so pretty cool. That's awesome. That's so, so awesome. what will people expect when they show up during that time? Will there be some fashion show wearing? There will uh, be some. Will there be things? Uh, fashions to purchase. Yes, what can all they purchasable. Some people will be wearing some stuff walking around, and then all the common areas you'll see new art and different art uh, of the relatives. So, yeah. Great. So, well, let's talk about talking about the relatives. You got another event coming up the following week on the 12th. Right. So the 12th talk is going to be uh, the market. So something we're trying to bring to Baton Rouge, where any maker, artist. Um, candle makers, uh, farmers, whatever can come. And it's right off the interstate, like I said, so it'll be a good place to expose yourself and make some sales while you're at it. So we're looking for vendors now. Um, it'll close probably two days before. Um, and so, yeah, I hope to have some fun. And so that'll be in your space. And what time is that market going to be? That's from 8 to 1 p.m., 8 a.m. So, to 1 p.m. And that's on a Saturday. On a Saturday. 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on a Saturday. Uh, they can see your stuff. There will be other vendors. And if somebody wants to be a vendor, they're listening. They go, I got some cool stuff. I want to be part of that. How do they contact they you? They email me, that? and the email's in the flyer. Okay, um, and you'll terrific. fill out a form and uh, pay the fee. And yeah, bring your own tent tables and promote Great. your stuff. And so we'll have that flyer on our Facebook page at Rocket Ride Entertainment. Uh, so that you can uh, see that. And then there's one more event one this more. month. The I mean, following week, um, I'm having a, like I said, I mentor my younger cousin, David LaSavio, but we also have some young guns. Um, my little nephew, he's 10, 10 years old, I believe, and he's like the next Da Vinci little prodigy. 
So we'll foster that. We'll foster some of my cousin's kids and my cousins who do woodwork painting welding so it'll be like a morph of like the family coming together and okay cool and what's the date on that that's the 18th okay so we have that up there that's the family so everybody's related yes there we talked about this before y'all really have some crazy art genes in that family (laughs) i mean it it, it's amazing so from the little cousins to do you have any older relatives that i do i have a a, a cousin who does woodwork anything from beds to kitchen tables to wow wow yeah just some creative stuff so we hope to do a few collaborative pieces in the mix but also like feature them on their own stuff so this will be uh what time is that that event six to nine p.m as well six to nine p.m and so they will have their stuff uh to show as well as Something so, to purchase. Yeah, everything's a purchase. Everything's a purchase. That uh, ten year olds love to sell. Yes, gotta start the college fund. Mm, yeah. Gotta start the college fund. I know when mine were like little and playing music, they'd be like, So is that cash or checks, sir? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and it's and it's and it's fostering. Gotta, gotta, you know, uh, we're, teach them that business aspect right. early on. Yeah, we're not only fostering <laughs> just the culture here in Baton Rouge, but obviously I want to foster that for my for my family because like I said, I played college ball got hurt and I was kind of like well you know what do I do now so it is so good that you had something uh really phenomenal to fall back on. <laughs> I'm just saying maybe that was a blessing right yes, there and God sure. was like going Absolutely. yeah you've really got to like take this to the yes. next level because it's it's so amazing and we'll put up on our Facebook page some of uh Jacob's uh, art so you and can we see have, what you're in store amazing. for from when you're you so have been a guest before and and check out his website jacobzumo.com because you've got a lot of art on there that people yeah, can so. explore and get really excited about going uh to these events yeah, so anything else coming up i mean this is plenty in the month of february that you want to let people know about right so we plan to be direct and having more events weekly so the market for sure will be once a month thing. The apparel thing will be once a month and some sort of bringing in an artist locally to collaborate with or, or showcase. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're so excited that you could be with us and we hope that we see you. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, gallery uh, place. Thank and you. so hope you all will join us on one of these three events. you got all kinds of uh, things to come to, but we want you to like share my birthday celebration. So, yes, yeah, so you have uh, nice we're just like saying, cake. I think you should have my first piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think Jacob's known you the longest of everyone here. I, I think that that might be. I mean, it's, it's, I can't even, uh, think it's been a really long time. Yeah. And I think you need to pick at, which kind at of least, spike at, scoop at least you want. 10 years, huh? Yes, I mean, you were, I think you got me one of my first live paintings in Nashville, was it? Yes, you did that. that. You did Katie Armager. Yes, and CJ, loving CJ and the songwriter stuff. So you have been a blessing. You're going to have to try this. And then I'm thinking you need an entire pint or or whatever that, what size is that? Is that a pint? A little pint. It kind of looks like a baby pint. Eight Um, ounces. Yes. And there's all kinds of great flavors here. Mm, I mean, what should go with your chocolate bourbon boy? Let's see. Um, this is margarita sherbet. That looks really good. Cookies and cream. That looks cookies and cookies cream. And that cream. might be the one. That sounds like even, that look, should go with boozy bourbon I don't even boy. think you I'm can have saying. a bad choice here. <laughs> so right, let me let me try, try chef's cake. Uh-huh. And it all goes well chef's with the wine. It's got Maker's Mark in it. And I and I asked CJ at one time. It's like. Why is Maker's Mark in like half of the country songs? He goes, Mama, because it rhymes so well. <laughs> it does. So I'm like, is that all that country people like drink? You know, because Maker's Mark, I'm like, listen, okay, this song's not Maker's Mark. This song's got Maker's Mark, but it is great in a boozy bourbon boy cake. Oh, yeah. The cake, <laughs> the cake is incredible. Nice and moist mm-hmm. with a hint of whatever alcohol is in this one. You said yes, Maker's Amanda Mark. Amanda always mm-hmm. makes her cakes Just fresh. Just enough. Yeah. Just enough. And so, so we... Don't want you to go anywhere. We're going right. to enjoy with the party. Uh, this, and we're going to have more ice cream scoops coming up. But next, we're going to be talking a little bit serious. We're going to be talking about cancer prevention, continuing our discussion uh, about cervical cancer prevention as well as cancer prevention in general because it's that time of the month, right? right? And that time of year, you got you to be vigilant. Yep, so stay put. <laughs>